So what I've got here is something that I'm super excited about because I've been just dying to get my hands on one. And on top of it all, I have an exclusive one. And this right here, oh! <laughs> Everyone who watches these videos watches me like, as soon as the guitar goes onto the screen, I go like this. Ah. Oh. Welcome back to the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I am Jimmy Franklin. This channel will always be dedicated to making sure that you get the most bang for your buck when you're buying new gear. So to be sure that you never miss a video and that you get to me before you overspend, click subscribe below and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video. Remember, most of the gear that you will see in my videos is available at the link in the description box. By using the link below, it is no extra cost to you and it helps support the channel. And I only am putting up gear that I really truly love and believe in. So if you're interested, check that out. This is the brand new Epiphone Les Paul Modern. These have been out for a little while, but I haven't gotten my hands on one to truly comment on them yet, and I finally have one, and I'm so excited to talk about it. Always remember that I only review gear that I truly love and that I'm excited about. You know, I get like asked what I want, which is really cool, so I'm not like forced to, I'm not forced to say anything for a certain company. And even if I was, there's only like a handful of companies that I truly would like bend over backwards for, but that's because I love the company. And one of the companies that I was never into, truly, is Epiphone. It's crazy to see, like I have this massive question on my mind of like, what the hell is Epiphone doing? Because it's really interesting, like they're really pumping out some awesome stuff. If you were to make a list of companies that are known to be the most progressive and forward, you wouldn't put Epiphone on that list right away, but I think you might after this video. Mahogany body, you know, it's a weight relief mahogany body. It's still got some weight to it for those of you out there who really love the heavy, thick Les Pauls. Standard two pneumatic bridge, stop bar, pro bucker humbuckers that are made to be, they're made to be pretty pathy. They really sound true to that old path tone, which is cool because you get exactly what you want out of a Les Paul, but with the mahogany body and with all of your switching capabilities that I'm about to explain, you'll see why this is a great platform if you wanted to throw some, some of your own pickups in here. Because we all want to be like Zach Wilder, Randy Rhodes, right? Something like that. Or... You have a three-way toggle switch, your standard three-way toggle. I like the aesthetic that they do now on a modern Les Paul. I like how they do the aesthetic where they don't put the ring around the, the pickup selector. I don't know why, I just think it's a cool little modern touch that makes it feel a little bit, I don't know, makes it feel a little bit more modern for some reason to me. With the switching system though, you have a ridiculous amount of push-pull pots. When you're in the down position, you flip this one up and it splits this one. When you're in the up position, you pull this up and it splits that one. If you're in the middle, you can do a variation on either one, this one up, this one down. And then on top of that, with any of these, you have this in and out of phase selecting switch, which is really, really cool. I think if you're a beginner or a studio junkie kind of guy, and you're trying to have a lot of variations, but you still really like Les Pauls, then this might be a really great platform for you to work with because you just have ridiculous amount of tone options. As a player, whenever I have been offered a guitar that has a ridiculous amount of tone options, I've never used more than three or four of them. But I've been in those situations in studios where it's like all of a sudden it's like, oh, how can I get this one sound I'm looking for? And you accidentally click into that magic spot. You know, at least you have that capability. Also, if you're a beginner, this really comes in handy because if you want a Les Paul, and you want something like this that's not gonna break the bank entirely, if you want something that you're not gonna have to take out a car loan for, you can also get sounds 
kind of like a Strat style or a Tele style, anything like that. You can start to mess with those sounds while still having your Les Paul chunk. <laughs> Oh my God, the binding around this just looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I think it's perfect. It's a wonderful Gibson quality binding, and I'm all about that. We have nice inlays, you have some style on there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Your standard kind of Les Paul medium jumbo frets on it. Something that's really, really cool about this, haha, <laughs> I love when I turn this thing around and people see that for the first time. We have the carved heel joint, which people have been dying for on Les Pauls for a long time. At least I have. I know some of the purists out there are not gonna like it, but I love it. It's perfect. And it's actually like, it's still a good amount of heel compared to modern day guitars, but it's so much more transparent than it's ever been before. I really, I feel a massive difference because I was a huge Les Paul freak when I was a kid. I love my Les Paul so much. And then once I got older and the, the, the heel was kind of hurting my hand, things like this mattered so much more. And I think it's wonderful. And for being a guitar with a lacquer, like with a, with a finish on it, it's impressive to be as smooth as it is. <laughs> We have an asymmetrical shred neck. It's kind of like a hybrid of their, like their slim taper 60s kind of neck without that flat spot down the middle. And like I said, it's asymmetrical, which is really great for the shred because you can get that like thicker Les Paul feel on one side and then you get the, you get the shreddy feel on the other. You can get kind of the best of both worlds. For me, I'm not totally in love with it because I like thick necks. I do, that's why I love my Les Paul custom so much which is, you know, which is, you know, but for someone who's starting out and doesn't know what they want yet, this is an unbelievable feature and it's a great time to be alive. I think there's so much to be said about the new Epiphone headstocks. The headstock is where a lot of the magic happens, especially for Gibsons, especially for most older guitar brands. Before the head, this thing was as popular as it was. This was your, not only your billboard, but also at the same time, it needs to be super efficient. It needs to not be so heavy. There was a point where Epiphone had a bit of a rough patch. It kind of tainted the old headstock a little bit, I think. People see that headstock and they would associate it with a lesser quality. I love this Epiphone headstock. I love this new, let's see, get in, there we go, come on. I love the new Epiphone headstock so, so much. I think it gives it a chance to be its own thing again, which is really nice and gives us a chance to believe in them once again. But what is on the headstock is amazing. We have a GraphTech nut. For a more affordable guitar is worth its weight in gold. You will not have problems with a GraphTech nut. And then to top it all off, we have a set of Grover locking tuners on it. Check these out. Oh yeah. This is for a player. This is for someone who wants to learn or has already been playing for a little while and wants to just play all day. And if you break a string, you pop this off and you lock in a new string. It is so handy. description box to this guitar. This is the Sweetwater exclusive, but all of their other colors of the Les Paul Modern are absolutely breathtaking. They have uh, like a Pelham green, which is just gorgeous and it has the binding and everything too. They have 
a sparkle burgundy that online, that one doesn't look anywhere near as good as it does in person. All, all in all, I'm impressed with the fact that Epiphone is turning around as much as it is, as much as it is, because in this world of people wanting to learn guitar, you're gonna need quality instruments when people are stuck at home and just playing all day. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I am Jimmy Franklin. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to increase your chances of winning my orange terror stamp that we are giving away on the channel when we hit 3,000 subscribers. We are not far away, so be sure to jump on that. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.